Looking at it now, there's little sign of the devastation that St Remedia's Church in Heatherset faced two years ago. That was when thieves stripped £50,000 worth of lead from the roof, leaving a congregation appalled and rain pouring into the ancient building. It was really heartbreaking and the outrage from the local community just added to it. No one could believe it had happened. We are here to provide a service for the community and you know, our, our doors are always open day in, day out. So to have this level of disruption to our services and to what we provide for the community, that was really just not very good at all. St Remedius isn't the only church to have been targeted in recent years. On average, about four have been hit every month in Norfolk, including at St Mary's Church in Baconsorp, which was raided twice in eight weeks, once just hours before a funeral was due to take place. It's all led to a new campaign, spearheaded by Police and Crime Commissioner Lorne Green, to try and combat the threat by raising thousands of pounds to install alarms at some of Norfolk's 650 churches. People without feeling are attacking uh, these community hubs. Uh, they're not only damaging churches, they're damaging communities, the spirit of community. It's got to stop. The police are doing what they can in terms of enforcement. Many of them are in isolated uh, locations. Um, so we want to protect these churches. As I say, they have served us so well for so many uh, hundreds of years. Um, weddings, funerals, community activities and so on. We owe it to these grand old ladies to do something good for them now. The roof alarm scheme has already received £250,000 to pay for security at 50 of the county's most vulnerable churches. But the aim now is for the public to raise an extra 300000 to install more alarms. It was a community that came to the rescue in Heatherset. They raised the cash to pay for their own security cameras and they dug deep to fix the roof itself, this time with cheaper steel rather than lead. We're all a lot happier the equipment's in place. It, uh, you know, we, we still keep on top of maintaining the grounds and making sure there's a clear visibility from the B11 as you see just out there. And um, it's really great because we know that we have the peace of mind that if someone does try to come in, it's not going to be uh, too long before we know something's going on. The Crime Commissioner's Office, the Bishop of Norwich and a number of other charities have put in thousands of pounds to help pay for the alarms. But they now need our help to raise more so communities like Heathersets don't have to find the funds to repair pieces of history. Christina Brinkley, Mustard TV, Heathersets.